Well, they did it. They created King Size Homer from The Simpsons. So Super 7 is on, a, I don't know what crazy path they're going on. But let's look at what they announced today. So they sent out an email and it showed all four of these figures that are coming, according to this email, winter of 2023. Now, Entertainment Earth says March of 2024, which seems a little bit more on schedule compared to the releases of what they're doing with all these other waves. So what do we got? We've got Tatum, we got King Size Homer, Flanders, and Radioactive Man, which are some interesting choices. I, I, Radioactive Man, I, I don't know that he's gonna be that popular. Tatum, I could see being a bit. I think this wave really comes down to that Homer. I mean, I'm into it. That's the Homer that I was hoping for after getting this Deep Space Homer. But it's an interesting choice to go with Ned Flanders on this one. And some people have called out that even though the donut is in the contract, in the accessories, he doesn't actually come with the, the, the donut from that episode, which seems like a missed opportunity and a weird one. But obviously these are renders, so we're not getting figures that will ultimately probably look like those. But if you go to pre-order on Super 7's website, they've got this page up with all of the figures that are in this wave and you could buy them as a set as they normally offer this like full set and you can get it this way with Entertainment Earth or ba uh, Big Bad Toy Store. But the problem with doing that is you don't get a discount. So you're just committing to all of them at regular price and it's crazy to me. Why wouldn't they discount this when you decide to buy all four which will help them get rid of some of these figures that maybe people aren't as into, like Radioactive Man, for example. It's cool, it's great, but eh, it's just nothing that special. So let's look at these pages and what all you get with Flanders here, some renders with the, the head sculpt. So it looks like his neckline is actually gonna go up around his head, which, is that a good call, I wonder? It's probably fine. You've got this hand that actually has the fingernails out and then the alternative ones. But the, the contract here is way more basic. So I wonder what's going on with that. Why this simplified version versus this one that you get in the actual render? And then it's here also. That's the kind of stuff that I think worries some of us that this is what we'll actually get. You know, the, the reality of the renders and what you actually get with some of the figures that they've done in the past are a little concerning. And then Mo, which famously didn't come with his apron, even though it was in the renders. Of course, they did apologize and they say they are fixing that. I hope that was just an accident or that they just needed to get the figure out and then they would send him. I don't know. But that's Ned. Cool. Again, I just... When it, when it comes down to this line, it, I think a lot of us feel the same way. We would like to just have the regular versions of The Simpsons and other characters. So here we go, we got Tatum. Uh, he's 65, so he's $10 more than normal with Super 7. Usually they're like 55 bucks. So you're getting this, you know, is that gonna be cloth? Probably not. I guess based on that shape, it's just gonna be a piece of plastic, not a soft goods. Um, maybe this will be soft goods. It's got a texture to it. That would be nice. I would say with that texture, then it should be a soft goods, but that's a really nice render on that robe piece. So it's hard to say unless it just slips over them. I mean, I, I hope it's a soft goods because that always bumps the quality of figures up, in my opinion, big time. Uh, but is he worth 65 bucks? I mean, he's, he's big and he's got extra stuff that's kind of bigger than normal, but I don't know that he's going to be that in demand from people. I mean, who, whatever. So Homer, <laughs> we've got these alternate faces. He's got the default the one, this angry one with the eyes very specifically to the left, and this face, which we did kind of get a ooh face with the deep space one. Obviously the neck size and everything, they can't, they have to be different molds. Um, and then the hands are kind of simple. So you got some gripping hands that are, this one looks very specific like kind of flattened and rounded on this one. So I guess ice cream cone maybe on this hand and then holding the bird in one of these two and the broom and stuff. Interesting. I, I was really hoping they'd come with a computer. Uh, you might have to find yourself a, another computer to use, but if my memory serves me correctly, this bird just kept going down and then he, he used it to hit the any key. Where's the any any key? Anyway, 
Uh, he's also 65 bucks, which is a bummer. I mean, he's big. He's obviously large. He's king size, but man, I don't know. The broom's an interesting choice. I don't remember. He, he uses the broom to to dial on the phone maybe or something because his fingers were too fat. <laughs> so you just mash, mash the keypad with your hands if your fingers are too fat. Anyway, pre-orders close March 17th, which is interesting because I think you could still pre-order after that with other websites like Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth. So why is it that way? I don't know. And then Radioactive Man, back down to 55 bucks, which I'm glad. He doesn't have all these extra accessories and stuff, which probably, you know, justifies his price being a little bit lower compared to the others. And he comes with a comic book, which is nice, but it's super simple. It's fine. Uh, again, for me, not a big want on this one. I, I would be happy with just the comic book. And you give that to Bart later on. If they ever make a Bart that isn't Bartman. Come on, we need some normal characters. And the biggest thing is we need some of the female characters. We don't have any. Where's Marge? Where's Lisa and Maggie? Uh, and the crazy cat lady. There's plenty of characters they could be bringing forward, even if they don't want to do original versions, just do the weird takes of Marge doing something. I don't know. And then if you buy the full set, it's the same. All the information is the same. Nothing changes. You're just committing to all four of them for 240 bucks. No discounts. It's crazy to me. And if you go on to Entertainment Earth right now, you can still obviously pre-order all of these figures. They're all here, and then they have their reaction figures and stuff, but some of them do sell out. So like these from wave two or three, I think uh, they've already sold out on Entertainment Earth. And I think, you know, those are kind of high demand characters, right? Like that's a normal version of Ralph, you would want that. And then, come on, who doesn't want him? Uh, and King. Regardless of where you buy them, um, I mean, if you order them from Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Story, right, you don't have to commit to the price up front. You can. You can buy the full set, you can buy them individually, and then you just get charged when they ship, but they're here. Yeah, so if you get on Entertainment Earth, you got everything that you could want. You're just buying from a trusted store. I, I think Super 7 charges you up front. Pretty sure about that. Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store would not be doing that. They'll charge you when they ship. And I'll link all of these in the description, of course, so you can go and buy them however you want. Really having a hard time because I, I like what they have done with this, and I do have Mo on the way, and then of course eventually get the apron, which I already requested. The line is, this is some of the best stuff that Super 7's made, which is crazy. Um, you got like s some really good characters from Thundercats, and then you've got some random Ninja Turtles that are doing okay. But for the Simpsons line, it's not something I thought I would get into, but you know, for the sake of the channel, I ordered this, and I like the astronaut stuff, I like space. So it was like, you know what? worth getting. And I was happy after the review, which will also be linked down below. If you haven't watched that, please do. But with these, I really hope that they are high quality and as at least as good as what we got out of that. Now you would think with a, a line like this and a brand as they come out a year and two years in advance, that the quality of these figures would actually get better. But it doesn't always seem to be the case. It's kind of a hit or miss with like Thundercats. You might get one. It's just what were they thinking? What's a character that you are actually like the most excited for? And it can be just a normal version of a character like Otto the bus driver, or do you want a variant like Marge as a character from Treehouse of Horror or something, or her like doing, I don't know, one of her jobs or whatever that she'd get over the many years? Or do you want like Patty and Selma? Like who? who's Abe? Simpson? Oh, that's another great one. So there's a lot of normal characters that are kind of not the main family that I would love to have. And I think top of the list right now is actually Millhouse. Like I, I would buy a Millhouse, no problem. I'm, I'm hoping that all of these end up being good quality because this is an endless, endless line, which could be dangerous, especially at these prices. And especially if they get up to like 75, like they did for Kodos, which is crazy. I, that's a lot of plastic, I guess. They just felt it was justified. But let me know down in the comments who you're most excited for because this could be endless. I also really want an Apu. Like, come on, let's do this. Thanks everybody for watching this video. 
Uh, let's continue the discussion in the comments because I like engaging with everybody and we could talk about The Simpsons forever. So let's do it. And then you can watch this video here to see the review of Homer. We'll see you next time.